Hey everybody, welcome back to Spear of Destiny. This is map 13, eh, Castle Hassle. I don't know if these are the official map names or if it's just kind of, I don't know, just a thing that happens. Nope. Nothing. Classic Wolf 3D music up in here, I see. So are there a bunch of ambushed enemies or are there just a bunch of doors? Or zombies. Looks like zombies. And I heard one of those other, I don't know, white shirt guys. I don't know what they're actually called. And I heard a door open. This bodes well. Okay. Um, start going around the other side, I guess. Hmm. I don't know about this. Okay. Oh boy. I see you back there. I... Really? Yeah, of course. <sighs> not fair. Not fair. Not fair. N not fair. Um, okay. You know, you'd think that, um... Our good friend, Mr. Blaskowitz, would be able to push one of these barrels? Eh, I guess not. Alright, so I know I heard the one dude wake up. Where the hell is he? That's basically one of the main things with this game. Where the hell are the enemies? Especially when you hear them wake up. That's where the paranoia comes from. That plus the fact that, uh, well, you take a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Okay, so, uh, those are normal doors. Yeah, so we ended up on the other side of the, of this. Yep. Bastard. Okay, I'm sure there's probably s secrets around here. Maybe. I don't know. Just try hitting all the weird, like, blood patterns in the walls. Uh, there are a lot of them, so I don't know. It seems like the most obvious place for a secret. You really have to be careful, because, I mean, definitely heard that one dude wake up. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Nowhere to be seen. I don't like it. I'm kind of thinking that there's no secrets around this outer edge. Which is unfortunate. Because I would love to get some health and ammo. Heard a door open. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, well, let's, uh, carefully make our way... Oh, hello. Alright, you guys need to get a little closer so I can, you know, shoot you. Okay. There we go. I mean, <laughs> there's a couple of them down, I guess. Okay. Well, there's ammo. A little bit of ammo. Ooh, dog food. All right. There's the dogs. Brainwashed Nazi puppers. There's that bastard. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> All right, anyone else? Ooh, that could have been really nasty if that, uh... RNG didn't actually roll in my favor for once. Whew! Okay. How the hell are there... How are there this many guys? They must have came running from somewhere else. Holy shit. That was intense. I didn't hear any doors open. Doesn't mean they didn't. 
Okay. How many enemies are there? 59. And we have 18 down. Okay. Gold key has been acquired. I think there was another regular key door over here, if I recall correctly. <laughs> yes, just just shoot wildly. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah. I think that was the first time we saw a dog attack animation in this playthrough so far. What the hell are you guys doing? <sighs> okay. More pizzas. I don't need that big ammo just yet. So what does that bring us up to? 29 out of 59. Okay. And also, yeah, this is why I don't have always run enabled because, uh, jeez. <laughs> Imagine rounding a bend at speed into something and just having it one-shot you. That would be amazing. Oh my goodness. Okay. Really? God, fuck you. Alright. Handled, I guess. Okay. Like shooting fish in a barrel. I'm okay with that. Holy fuck. 44 out of 59. Yeah. Castle hassle, more like castle asshole. Okay. Now where are we? Oh, yeah, we're in hell. We are in hell. I do see an extra life, so there's that at least. One thing that's unfortunate about these pillars, you really can't see through them, and they could shoot through them. Alright, well, there's always one more. Except in this case. Okay. So there we go. 96. 61 health. Which means we still could die in one shot. But we're a little less likely to do so. Okay, what do we got now? 50 out of 59. So, wait a minute. Is it on this side? Is that where the... Uh... No, I've been there. Okay, it's back around that way, which, well... <laughs> yeah, gotta go all the way around. Yay. Yeah, this is where auto run, or er, not auto run, but run comes in handy, just in these long corridors. Oh, great. Alright, well... <laughs> I figured the zombie numbers would start ramping up a little bit around now. But, oh boy. I don't know if I was quite expecting this much of a ramp up. This is pretty abrupt. Oh. Ooh. I think there was another one! Right there. Okay. Um. Shit. Okay. 56. There's three more left. Presumably all zombie bastards. Like you. Two. One. Probably right where that chicken is. No? Uh, don't do this to me. So this is back to the beginning. Shit. Alright, well you know what? Let's see if we can find... I don't think there's any ammo in this maze. But, um, yeah. Just do one quick sweep. In here? No. Alright. Mm -mm -mm. I know there's that one box that we left behind. Is this... Nope. Didn't cover all of it. So forward and then to the left. 
Okay. Fuck you. Alright, that's all the kills. Good. So, um, just get our health up to 100, get that last ammo box, and, uh, we're good to go. Jeez, oh man. <laughs> well, that was a level. That, uh, oh, about 10 minutes, not bad. I wonder if strafe running actually does anything in, in Wolf Engine. I think it was, uh, past here. Oh my goodness. Maybe. Yeah, it was over, yeah, right here. Uh, so we just need one more turkey, which I know we have those in that maze. Oh, could just one around that way. Oh, well. Oh, thank goodness for the auto map. This would take twice as long without it. For, like, no good reason. Uh. Right. So, uh, here we go. Alright, we're looking good. Oops. This way. Around here. Hui. Alrighty. Dang it. Alright, next level. Save. Oh man, can you imagine if I forgot to save? That would suck. Okay, heard a bunch of things wake up. Okay, so we've got things happening. Oh boy. I wonder if there's going to be as many zombies in this one as there was in the last one. Oh, that whole maze with zombies at the end of random paths was, uh, that was quite a design. What did we do? No? Nothing? Which means there's probably zombies. Or, haha, uh, nope, just zombies. Silly me. Don't really want to grab that ammo yet. Okay. Okay. Also have to watch out because the bullets can kind of clip through corners, so, um, really need to be careful. Which is why I'm advancing. <laughs> okay. Um. Jeez. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's uh, lean back this way. That way we have a little bit more distance. Hopefully nothing comes up behind me. Which means it's probably gonna something's gonna come up behind me. Damn it, can you pathfind over here for the love of god? Ah, uh, shit. <sighs> Fuck you! God, that's so cheap. All right. Yeah, like seriously. I feel pretty comfortable with calling that shit cheap. So most of the engine quirks in this game actively work against the player. It's not like with Doom where it's kind of 50-50. With this one, it's basically just, uh, you're pretty much boned. So I can't really see myself ever playing this on Death Incarnate. It just doesn't seem like it would be a fun challenge to me. And I took a bunch of careless hits there. Like, I mean, come on, look at that. Yeah, yeah, there's literally... I was literally actively shooting at that zombie, too. Like, even the chain gun does not have a fi have fast enough rate of fire to stun the zombies. That's crazy. Okay. Them being able to shoot you through corners while you can't shoot them. It's, uh It's not a... Okay, no. Let's, let's not. Nope. Where did I go last time? Oh, yeah, I was in here. Alright, so... Going a little better this time. So far. I mean, it was going okay last time. Then we had, like, one-shot kill zombie. Kind of amazing how much of a difference the, uh... I guess more balanced, uh... Health and armor system in Doom makes. 
Yeah, this is one of those cases where there's, there's definitely one more. <laughs> oh, sorry. Two, three more. Fuck this. This is so annoying. It does kind of lose a lot of the frantic pace of the gameplay when you start introducing zombies, though, because it's like... I don't know. I guess I can kind of get the, uh, get why they would have put those enemies in, but eh, they just don't... They're not fun. Alright, 19 out of 90. Okay. Well, here we go again. The Nazi gold. Ah, fuck, especially when you get caught on the corner. Okay. Yeah, and that's the other thing. Like, one little mistake and you're, you've lost half your health. It's just... Bleh. Ooh, man. And actually, the funny thing is that the pathfinding inconsistency... Consistency... Does so much to make this game stressful. Uh, okay. Seriously. <laughs> that was some bad RNG rolls right there. At least he... Uh, at least he stunlocked him. I think this is one of those maps where if I find the elevator, I'm just going to go for it. In fact, let's just run through that. Really? Okay, well that works. Maybe. Oh! Well, look at that. <laughs> Alright, so is this the gold key? Yeah. Sure is. Alright, check your corners. Corners checked. It's not gonna matter. <laughs> Alright. I really do need to look at the... Uh, I know I mentioned I was going to do this in one of the previous episodes, but I really need to look at the uh, damage formula in this game. Might be interesting. I know it's based on distance and a um, pretty wide distribution RNG roll. That much is very obvious. Yeah, um, let's just let them come to me. Motherfucker. Oh, hell no. Fuck, the worst part is I don't even know where that guy came from. Might have came from that previous maze, but I don't know. Okay, um, thank you, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Submachine Gun, you are pretty cool, gotta say. I swear they could shoot you right through walls. Oh, fuck, mm, this floor is annoying, holy shit. No, I don't, I don't want to pistol start this. I think that's one of the problems with this, is like you can't really, like with Doom, you could scale up pretty linearly when it comes to challenge with this game I mean it's like kind of the thing that I talk about with Revenants an awful lot <laughs> an awful awful lot their projectile has such a wide damage spread that it kind of it makes it hard for the level designer to really predict how difficult a room could be like I actually was uh, I was testing a map that a doom map that I'm working on I actually had a problem because one time I ended up getting hit with three max damage revenant rockets in a row. Not even joking. Like one of those things that is just such a statistical improbability that uh, it did kind of throw my testing off a little bit for obvious reasons. <laughs> so I had to throw that result out altogether and start from scratch. The worst part is when stuff like that happens when you're... Uh, trying to do a uh, single segment test. Just guess what I was trying to do at the time? <laughs> I don't know, but like in this case, like if you were a map designer and you wanted to, des to bleh, design a challenging map, you would have to take variables like that into account. Like the fact that enemies can do anywhere from like one to uh, 1,000 damage to you in one hit. Just, I don't know. I think that's one of the ways that 
like the Wolf 3D games really have not aged well at all. And then just like other quirks, like oh, inconsistent stuns, the fact that they can shoot through partially open doors, the fact that pillars don't block anything. Yeah, like right now. I am basically fucked. Yeah, uh, that took a lot, a lot of hits. Right, let's go out this way. Fuck me. Well, at least we can go right in here and grab some more health. <sighs> Emphasis on some. Ah, oh, jeez. This is gonna be another failed run, isn't it? Yeah, I keep hearing doors open. I think that was just this one, though. This one, I believe, ends with... Yep, that guy. See, and like in that case, one-shot kill. I wish it were like that more often. You know, to the enemy, not not to me. I wonder if this will... No, that didn't wake anything up. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Okay. Fuck me. Come on. Oh, jeez. That was lucky. I know I saw another one in there, though. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. With the way this game's pathfinding works, there's no real way of knowing. Okay. It's like, all you can really do is just open the door and then back away from it as quickly as you can. Oh my god. It's just piles of zombies. That can shoot through each other. Oh my goodness. Oh, fuck you. At least he missed me. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and go to full. 51 out of 90. All right. Is that militant mutants. No shit. <laughs> All right. It's not so bad. God, that was just one wing of this hellhole. Good God. It's amazing how much dif distance plays into it. Because, I mean, even just, like, from here to that... From this door to that door. That dampened the damage. Bleh. Dampened the damage so much that it took, like, infinity more shots to kill that dude. Alright, let's grab one of these uh, chickens. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so over these zombies. I'm so over them. This is just... I love how sudden this was, too. It's like you go from no zombies up to level... I think 11... Oh, Jesus. This is getting out of control. What the hell? Oh, that was odd. So, um... That was some very strange behavior. So it turns out, if you're using the... Uh, the submachine gun and you hit three to switch or sorry you hit four to switch to the um, chain gun this starts firing at half the rate and then when you let go of the button it switches I know I'm probably I mean that's probably treading into some undefined be behavior right there but still holy hell that is weird okay yeah, this doesn't look like it's going to be pleasant. Hmm. Okay, well. This is not going to be pleasant, is it? I'll bet there's going to be a ton of zombies here. Okay. Uh, 
Um, I don't like this at all. Yeah, that one dude got way too many hits in on me because I couldn't stun him. <sighs> RNG, you are an asshole. I remember seeing like a post, I think it was on Doom World, of someone saying that Doom actually needed to have more RNG. And uh, I think all that would do is turn Doom into Wolfenstein. And I don't think I'd be okay with that. Holy shit. It's like... <sighs> oh, you fucker! This sucks. This really sucks. Oh my goodness. I I'm starting to remember why I don't play these games that much. This is just not fun at all. I'm, I think I'm just going to start doing mid-level saves because this is ridiculous. I mean, there's just so many different branching paths that mazes like that have. And then... They have these enemies that don't make noise, shoot through each other, shoot through corners. I mean, they could successfully shoot you in more instances and instances than you could shoot them. Oh my god. This is just... Oh, okay. One shot did that much damage. Yeah. I mean, they, they can legitimately kill you faster than you can kill them, so... I mean, what the hell's the point of trying to play fair here? I, I don't know what they were thinking with the live system. Unless they were modeling it after games that require you to, um... Insert quarters for credits. I mean, sure, yeah, if that's the case, then, uh, they fucking nailed it. Wow, they actually stunned. Holy shit. I'm stunned. Get me in here. Oh, jeez. The level of damage is just so unbelievably variable. And again. Oh, okay. <laughs> Broke through stuns and... Did a ridiculous amount of damage on me in one shot. Yeah, let's, uh... Good. Let's be super mature about our save game names. But yeah, th that's what we're going to be doing. For every level that's like this, I'm not going to give it the uh, respect of a single segment playthrough. Because seriously, this is ridiculous. And again, like you run into places like that, and it's like one of the criticisms that um, criticisms that Civi brought up in his video. When life or death becomes a coin toss, because it's like, if you go, if you look one direction, and they're in the other direction, if they get that one lucky shot off, well, you're dead. Just straight up fucking dead. So, yeah, I don't know. It's like the action of this game aged well, the mechanics of this game aged terribly. Mostly all just comes down to that dice roll. It's just kind of... Uh, yeah, okay. And the fact that they could literally re react instantaneously, that's another problem. Especially for something that has the tendency to just not get stunned at all. For some reason. Okay, I think they're only going to be coming from this door. I'm just tired of replaying this shit over and over again. Okay. And imagine pistol starting this. Like, I don't think you'd be able to. Okay, I mean, you could with enough persistence, but shit. Talk about completely and utterly unpleasant. No, I don't think it designed uh, Doom to be pistol started, I'd let alone this. And again, another reminder, they can shoot through each other. Alright. There we 
we are. <sighs> okay. Good enough. Oh yeah, this is the safe room. And now we go over here. Man, imagine if, uh... Imagine if they can hit each other. Wouldn't that make things a lot easier? Uh, where the fuck are you? At least they do seem to have enough courtesy to have a little bit of a hold off when they open the door. Well, now that I blew through all my ammo, <laughs> not a big deal. At least they're good enough about giving you uh, kind of a metric ton of that. Uh, okay, any secrets? Because I can use some health. I know there were those chickens a few rooms back. Alright, nothing in there, that's good. Start heading back this way and over here. No, over here. Okay, good. Save scum. And this bullshit. There's also that. Oh, okay, that's just that just leads here. Okay, got it. All right, now for this crap. Again, one of those areas that just really makes you question what the fuck they were thinking. Poor health. Oh my goodness. I don't know how many enemies there are left. 78 out of 90, but... The other problem is I'm not sure how many of those come from secret areas. Nope, we're back at the beginning. Uh-huh, uh -huh. yeah, okay. Really? And this is why we're safe scumming, folks. Because, seriously, what the fuck? Jeez. <sighs> I've already basically allotted my half hour of, uh, half hour time just to this level. Because of how shit this is. Like you have to basically memorize the uh, location of the enemies and then hope that you stun lock them before they can shoot you at close range. You know what? That's it for this. Fuck. Oh my god, really? Uh, well, at least they give you a nice little... Oh, I get it. It's a fake elevator. Well, that's just silly. Well, at least we know where there's some supplies for when we have to go through this maze and end up getting shot by something that just doesn't stun lock. <sighs> kind of wish I would have known about that before, but, now uh, you know. LOL, LOL, I guess. It's kind of neat that the uh, switch actually triggers. I didn't realize it would do that on a... Uh, well, I guess technically it is a real exit switch, it just has the secret trigger on it. Okay, I think that's this maze completed. No, it's not. Oh my god. Wait a second. So it's over he No, not over there. Over here. Over here. No. Oh, okay. Continues looping around this way. And I'm assuming this is the real exit. Alright. 
Well, let's go ahead and just stock up. And the fake exit. And... Jeez. I, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save just in case. Okay, there we go. Okay, that, that map sucked. I think it's mostly just be it kind of just falls down to the zombies not being a fun enemy to fight, or even a particularly well-designed one. Especially considering, like, you could basically just shoot them, get a bunch of repeated low damage rolls, and then they'll fire at you between your shots, and then just nail you for a ton of damage. It's just, oh my god, it... Yeah. <laughs> We're kind of getting into not fun territory now, very abruptly too, and it kind of seems like the fun stopped when the zombies started appearing in mass. Because the other enemies, I mean, even like my death in floor twelve, there were other ways I could have approached that. But with the zombies, there's no telegraph for them. They'll just kind of randomly walk up to you and shoot you in the back for eighty damage, and uh, not to mention like just the various the. Increasing reliance on mazes, which really exemplifies the fact that zombies have an almost zero wake-up time. Whereas all the other enemies, you know, it takes them a second, they gotta do their little shout, and then they can start shooting. But with the zombies being able to shoot you instantly, and having a low stun chance, or seemingly, seemingly low stun chance, it basically means you could round a corner and then just take critical damage out of fucking nowhere. And that doesn't really make for very engaging gameplay, in my humble opinion. It just basically leads to you just jutting out and then going back over and over again. I don't know. Hopefully they get tired of zombies soon, because I'm already tired of them, and we've only had them for a couple of levels. Anyway, that's all for this one. Sorry for only having two floors, but that last one just was just awful. That was just terrible. Anyway, I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.